I mean, I'm going to put this like this. It was like a public execution. I'm probably the only person who's ever witnessed their brother die live on national television. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, especially when you can't do anything about it. You haven't got the means to get up there to try and stop it. Now, the official line from the, the Northumbria Police appears to be that despite discharging these tasers, we were unav unable to stop Raoul Mook taking his life. Now, if you think about it, this, this, my brother is sitting on a, on a bank, on a grassy bank. He's absolutely soaked to the skin. He's not wearing waterproof clothing. He's got, he's got a hoodie, which is not waterproof on. He's been there for hours. It's chucking it down with rain, absolutely pouring down. Um, we're talking very conductive material here for electricity. We're talking two 50,000 volt tasers. Um, when he's, if somebody hits you with a taser, every muscle in your body contracts. You have no choice in the matter. You're still twitching afterwards, as I understand. He's got his fingers on a gun. They electrocute him. His fingers involuntarily pull on the trigger. And the, tr the trigger fires and he's shot. Why do they take the option to, sh to taser him after he'd been sitting there for more than six hours? Negotiations seem to be going quite well. Why was this sudden decision to taser him at that point taken in the pouring ring? Uh, was there any signal? I fail to see how anybody can tell if somebody's going to pull a trigger and get the time to fire a taser when the trigger goes off. I think there's a possibility that those tasers might have caused them to pull the trigger involuntarily.